What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Spinning True. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a Shimano hydraulic drop bar brake lever that is leaking out of the side of the lever. So let's uh, show you what I'm talking about here and then we'll get into the repair. So this is a, a GRX RX400 brake lever and this brake system was losing pressure over time. Like over a few weeks, the brake pressure would decrease until I could pull the lever all the way to the drop here. Typical thought, typical diagnosis would be there's a leak in the system. So I ended up actually replacing the brake hose and then rebled the system. Did a video about that if you wanna check out how to size hydraulic hosing. And during that video found out that the system was actually leaking out from the lever. And of course I assumed right away that it was leaking here from where I had attached the hose, but that's not the case. It was actually leaking out from a little hole here at the front of the lever. And I can't show you now because all the fluids already leaked out, but if you have a brake system that either leaks slowly over time and you can't find a leak in the line, or you notice the fluid spurting out from the side of the lever, this video is for you. So this should apply to any Shimano hydraulic drop bar lever. This just happens to be the GRX. And the part I had to buy was the Shimano ST-R9120 left hand, because this is the left hand side. I'm not sure right now if this is the same part for all the drop bar levers or if this is GRX specific. So I'd recommend doing some research, but that is called a lid unit and it comes with a bunch of parts. We're gonna have to figure out how to replace but basically there's a diaphragm under this cap and that's either blown out or out of place or something. So we're gonna to have to replace this plate. The diaphragm's in here too and looks like a couple more parts. So I'm gonna take this thing apart and figure out how to replace it. So these screws appear to be Torx T8 screws. So let's carefully uh, get this plate off of there and not lose anything because there could be some small parts in there. So the first screw came off with a little metal bushing looking thing, uh, which was the one on the front. Good to know, I think there's two in the package. So I'm gonna have to make sure I keep track of which screw is which. Let's do the middle one. Okay, so the middle does not appear to have a bushing unless it is stuck in there. And then the one that's furthest back And there's also no bushing there, which means I need to be extremely careful here. See, I should have a magnet somewhere that, oh, I can see it in there. There is a little bushing piece in there. I got it, I think. And there's not in the middle. So the bushings go on either end. All right, I'm gonna take a pick and I don't know what's in there, so I'm gonna Ah, there we go. Very carefully pull that off. So we have a top cover. There's the little port that was leaking fluid. Okay, so that's a little plastic cover. Underneath that appears to be a rubber seal or a little rubber thing. There's a bunch of fluid leaking out. And this is what's either out of place or broken. And I don't see anything else in there. I don't want to scratch any plastic or rubber, but now I'm going to open up my pack of what I got and see how that compares to what I'm looking at here. Okay, so of course I forgot to press record when I opened the pack of parts, but basically what was in there was a new rubber thing, which has a very strange shape, plastic cover, and of course the screws, nothing else. So I'm just going to put this back the way it came off. And I did examine the old rubber piece and couldn't find a hole in there, but there must be a little tiny hole or tear or it must just not have been seated properly. But I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on there. By the way, you can see that this is actually where the little fluid reservoir, because the port to do the bleed is right there. But I'm gonna go ahead and just carefully put that back and then replace or actually put in the new plastic lid and then we're going to start putting in some screws and I don't know what the torque spec is on this but I can't imagine it is very 
much at all. I'm gonna start with the middle screw because that did not have one of those, um, you know, metal bushing washer things. And I'm not really even gonna tighten that. And then we're gonna start putting in the other screws and just be very gentle with this because I don't wanna crush that or break that or anything else. Okay, so now we have a screw with a little metal bushing thing. Let's do the front. Don't wanna drop this. Okay, that's at least started. Same thing here at the back. Let's go ahead and you know, start that. And now, again, I'm gonna just, I think I'm just gonna barely seat these screws. So start tightening them. Still not really feeling too much resistance. And uh, you know, I want to be very careful because I have too much experience breaking plastic parts on Shimano drop bar brake levers. I don't know if that was in the video I didn't record or forgot to press record, but one time I was installing a brake hose, actually on the same bike, tightened this flange nut too much and cracked the lever body because that's all plastic. And it might have even been the left hand lever, which is this one. And so this might actually be a new lever, which is would be very strange and you know, would indicate that this could be some sort of a factory um, issue. Not really sure, but right now, basically I'm feeling that screw just bottomed out. The top one, the resistance just increased and I'm just not gonna tighten that too much at all. And that one's close to bottoming out as well. And I'll just leave it like that. And if it leaks, maybe I'll tighten them a little bit more, but that's pretty much the process for fixing this course I have to test it but I'm going to do another video about that because I'm kind of running out of time again today uh, and I want to do another complete brake bleed video so I'm going to do a brake bleed video and I'll test this and see if that actually worked but that's the general process you need to buy yourself a lid kit if you have a leak out of that little port there and replace the rubber diaphragm and that should fix your leaking brake lever. So that's the video for today. As always, thanks for watching. Take care and have a great rest of your day.